I do but stay till your marriage be consummate, and then go I towards Aragon. I'll bring you thither, my lord, if you'll vouchsafe me. <laughs> Nay, that would be as great a soil and a new gloss of your marriage as to show a child his new coat and then forbid him to wear it. I will only be bold with Benedict, for from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet he is all mirth. <laughs> He had twice or thrice cut Cupid's bowstrings, and the little hangman dare not shoot at him. His tongue is the clapper for what his heart thinks his tongue speaks. Gallants, I am not as I have been. So say I. Methinks you are sadder. I owe me in love. Ah, hang him true, and there's no true drop of blood in him to be truly touched with love. If he be sad, he wants money. I have the toothache. Draw it. Hang it. Draw it first and hang it afterwards. What? Sigh for the toothache. Well, every can master a grief, but he that has it. Yet say I, he is in love. Ah, uh, there's no appearance of fancy in him, unless it be a, an appearance to strange disguises, as to be a Dutchman today, a Frenchman tomorrow, or in the shape of two countries all at once, as to be a German from the waist upwards, all slops, or a Spaniard from the hip downwards. No doublet. If he be, <laughs> if he be as fool of fancy to this as it appears he is, then he is no fool for fancy as it would appear to be. If he be not in love with some woman, there is no believing all signs. Have any man seen him at the barber's? Nay, hey, but the barber's hath been seen with him. Indeed, he looks younger than he did. Uh, <laughs> nay, rubs himself in civet, you can smell him out by that. As much to say, the sweet youth's in love. The greatest note of it is, 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 is in his melancholy. And when he was wont to wash his face, yea, or to paint himself, uh, for which I know what they say of him. Nay, but his jesting spirit, which is now crept into a lute string and governed by stops. <laughs> conclude, conclude, he is in love. Nay. But I know who loves him. So would I, one that knows him not. Yet this is no charm for a toothache. Senor Leonardo, walk aside with me. I have studied eight or nine wise words to speak with you, which all well, these hobby horses must not hear. <laughs> oh, for my life to break with him about Beatrice. Tis even so. Hero and Morgan and Fidus play their part of Beatrice. And when the two bears meet, they will not fight one another. <laughs> my lord and brother. God save you. A good den, good brother. If your leisure served, I would speak with you. In private? If it pleases you. Yet Count Claudio may hear for what I would speak of concerns him. What's the matter? Means your lordship to be married tomorrow. You know he does. I know not that. When he knows what I know. If there be any impediment, I pray you discover it. You may think I love you not. Let that appear hereafter, and aim better at me by that I will now manifest. For my brother, I think he holds you well, and in dearness of heart, hath hoped to effect your ensuing marriage. Surely suit ill spent, and labour ill bestowed. Why, what's the matter? I came hither to tell you, and circumstances shortened, for she has been too long speaking of. The lady is... Disloyal. Who? Hero? Even she. Leonardo's hero. Your hero. Every man's hero. Disloyal? Oh, the word is too good to paint out her wickedness. Think you of a worse title, and I will fit her to it. Oh, wonder not till further warrant. Come with me tonight, you shall see her chamber window entered even the night before her wedding day. If you love her then, tomorrow wed her. But it would better fit your honour to change your mind. May this be so? I will not think it. If you dare not trust that you see, confess not that you know. If you will come with me, I will show you enough. And when you have seen more and heard more, proceed accordingly. If I see anything tonight, why I should not marry. And tomorrow, the congregation where I should wed, there will I shame her. And as I wooed for thee to obtain her, 
Then so shall I join with thee to disgrace her. I will disparage her no further, so you are my witnesses. Bear it coldly, but so midnight. And let the issue show itself. <laughs> 